Hello everyone, this is Neha Sharma and today in this video we are on part number 3 of adjectives and degrees of comparison. So dear students, as you know we have covered two videos of the same topic where we have learnt many things. We did what is adjective, how many kinds of adjectives are there and we have come to know that uh, this, this uh, adjective is divided into two parts that is descriptive adjectives and the second one is restrictive adjectives. So descriptive uh, adjectives when we were doing there we came to know that is having only one part that is adjective of quality right where we just uh, make a sure that what kind of the thing or what kind of the noun or the pronoun we are talking about in the sentence right after that we did adjective of quantity and adjective of number where we differentiated that adjective of quantity tells us how much and adjective of number tells us how many when we use uh, nouns in adjective of quantity so there we use uncountable nouns and adjective of number are used with countable nouns after that we have done demonstrative adjectives and we learned that this that these those such same and yonder these words are in the category of demonstrative adjectives with this we have done distributive adjectives also where the words like each every either and neither we have learned that all these words are demonstrative sorry distributive adjectives when we created the difference between both of them uh, there's nouns in the pr uh, sorry pronouns in the adjectives there we got to know that every is only used as an adjective it is not a pronoun right next we are talking about today interrogative adjectives so let's see what are interrogative adjectives when this word comes interrogative that means something related to questions so this is uh, like that only interrogative adjectives are the words like what which whose when so these wo four words you have to uh, learn here used before the noun in asking a question so it is called a uh, it is called interrogative adjective right so which word the words you have to learn what which whose and when and after this word there should be a noun so this will these words will work as uh, interrogative adjectives let's understand with the help of example what information have you about it right so here see information is what information is a noun and then is what it is or what is before that there is what so this wh family word means this word what is working as an interrogative adjective here in this sentence okay which book do you want which book do you want this book is what noun and before that what wh family word which is helping us to ask the question and noun is there after this word so this is once again an adjective whose shoes is he wearing so whose shoes is he wearing is shoes is what here noun and before that wh family word which is helping us to create a question and uh, moreover it is after that there is a noun so this is interrogative adjective what plan did you follow so here plan is what noun okay and here this w h family word is interrogative adjective which train is late so here it is train and before that which right let's understand the difference between pronouns and the adjective here too because i've told you earlier too some kinds are same in both of pronouns and both of the topics pronouns and adjectives so difference is only that when you are doing adjectives make sure that noun should be there after that okay suppose i am asking which is your house which is your house this is the question but is this which word is uh, working as an adjective here answer is no because which and after that there is no noun 
right so here because after that there is no noun and helping verb is there or main verb may be there so this will work as interrogative pronoun here right but which house is your if this sentence is written like this which house is yours okay so here this word which this which will work as adjective because after the, this word which there is what noun so that's the difference between demonstrative pronouns and demonstrative adjectives uh, sorry interrogative adjectives and interrogative pronouns everywhere we have when we have to get the difference between demonstrative pronouns and adjectives that time also we have to see that this is my house so this is after this word this what is there is means noun is not there so there is pronoun but this house is mine so here uh, house is there after the word this so here it is working as adjective next is what possessive possessive is what which the words which show the ownership so the words which help to show the ownership or position are called possessive adjectives like his i have told you the difference in that also here let me uh, just make you clear this my is adjective but mine is pronoun your is adjective yours is pronoun right are o u r r adjective o u r s that is pronoun his adjective and uh, pronoun is his this is same right her adjective and hers pronoun okay like this we have to do its adjective and we are not having any its here means in pronoun category we are not having its so its is in the category of adjective clear so that's the difference now let's understand what are possessive pronouns a possessive uh, adjectives sorry possessive adjectives are the words which help us to show the ownership or possession are called possessive adjectives right so what should be after these words there should be a noun my car needs repair and the words like uh, the words which are showing possession are possessive or ownership so here car is what car is noun and before that my is the which word is telling what is whose car is this right so this word my is telling us or showing us the position so this my is adjective and what is the kind possessive that is your house now you will say we have done in demonstrative that that is also what that is also that is also in the category of adjectives but because there is no noun afterwards so this is working as an pronoun here as a pronoun here so your this is your house here what is that noun and your is showing us possession whose house your house right so this is what possessive adjective that is her book whose book her book so her and after that there is what noun so this her is working as adjective here and what is the kind possessive the plant is losing its leaves so its is what here its is because these leaves are what noun and these are showing possession whose uh, whose leaves its leaves so its is telling us possessive adjective that is what possessive adjective and i've told you just told you its is not in the category of pronouns okay so next is we have to do proper adjectives emphasizing adjectives and relative adjectives but before that i want you should take screenshot of these or uh, note down these examples in your notebook and please try to understand please take the screenshot and then we will do last three now let's talk about kind number 8 of adjectives that is proper adjectives so dear students this proper adjective is something related to proper nouns okay so let's see what is this proper nouns used as adjective forms of proper nouns 
for example he is an indian soldier so what is this proper noun is what here indian right but this indian is being used as adjective here like he is an indian soldier because soldier is what that's noun and before that this word indian is telling that the quality of that soldier so this is what indian right so the word indian is expressing the quality of soldier here so this is what that is why this is known as proper adjective if we'll say this word indian is what indian is proper noun i adjective i enjoyed the italian food means india and that indian so this is what i enjoyed italian food right so which food noun is what and italian is what adjective and which kind of adjective it is it is the quality of the food which belongs to italy so that is what italian food so the quality here is italian and here he is a soldier from india so the quality is indian soldier so indian is working as what here proper adjective and here italian is working as proper adjective he is a canadian citizen so citizen is what here that is noun and canadian is what here adjective and what is that proper adjective so that's all about proper adjectives next if we'll talk about emphasizing adjectives emphasizing adjectives so emphasize means when we have to give the stress on something we uh, want that the listener should listen you know the with the the thing which something uh, when we are expressing something so he or she should listen that particular uh, that so that is the words which are used to emphasize opinion about something are called emphasizing adjective like he is very intelligent right so this word very is what very we are giving he is intelligent but very intelligent is what right so this word very we are going we are actually uh, giving the pressure to some, some this word that very suppose the words like real these you have to note down very complete true perfect own total and absolute so these are the words some of the words which we used to give the emphasize on something so the example is the real owner of this house is mr gupta so what is the word here real and owner is what noun so we are emphasizing here that the real owner of the house is mr gupta we are stressing on this word i have a very bad cold bad cold that's okay bad is also adjective but i have a very bad cold so this very is emphasizing okay so this word very is also telling us the adjective and this that is emphasizing adjective and the last for today is relative adjective so relative is what when this word relative comes it is something which joins two things together when we did pronounce there also we got these uh, these words right and the difference is that there they were not having nouns after that they are not combining the nouns but here these words are combining the nouns uh, by the uh, nouns in the clauses so let's see what is that relative adjectives the words what which and whose what which and whose are called as relative adjectives when they are used with the nouns to relate clause suppose i know the boy whose father is a policeman suppose we have two sentences i know the boy full stop his father is a policeman these were two sentences and when i joined these sentences i i just uh, you know synthesized or transformed this sentence into single sentence so i know the boy whose father is a policeman so here i am what doing what this boy right and uh, uh, this is used with when which we are used with the nouns to relate the clause so that is relating the next clause also next sentence also this is what whose okay so this word whose this word whose is actually what that is relative adjective because this is joining two sentences this is the boy this is first sentence his father is a policeman this is second sentence and the combination of the sentences is done with 
whose the boys whose names were called stood up so here whose is what relative adjective because it is here to this is joining two sentences together with the nouns with the noun or the related clause tell me which book you like to borrow tell me which book you like to borrow so which is what which is adjective which is helping us to relate to sentences so tell me which book you like to borrow so these were all about uh, the kinds of adjectives which we have completed in our part number three i hope you understood all these kinds so dear students please take the screenshot of this because these are not given in your book too please write down these sentences with examples so that you can understand and learn this for your examination thank you very much for today and the uh, homework for today is you have to try the exercises which are given uh, you know with this I think page number 20 and 21 onwards so please try to solve those exercises we will discuss these exercises in our next video thank you very much thanks for watching and listening and please be safe be healthy thank you very much